very well welcome to you and another video and basically this video is totally about a comparison of single fisted and double fisted backhand I'm sure you already would have seen many of the videos that are available on YouTube in which you know there is a little bit of comparison when it comes to the double fisted or a single fisted backhand and basically they're all telling you whether one is better than the other but I would simply give you one simple tip and that is see what's best for you simple as that none of the two is better than the other both have their pros and cons for example if I give you my own example firstly I tried the single fisted backhand coach also made me try giving me the basics that how it is you know the hand is taken back and gradually you know you simply take it down and then move it up and you know the follow through is also going towards the back but no matter how many times I tried I couldn't do it and finally you know <clears throat> it was by a surprise that when I held uh, the racket with two hands and then I you know I glided the ball I just simply hit it so even the coach asked me it was a long time ago many years back but he said how are you able to do it because sometimes I even struggle to hit in the way in which you are doing so I'm not boasting not showing off but even I got surprised also the way it was being hit the backhand or rather I would say the double fisted backhand was going far more better and was growing and developing far more faster than the way I was learning to hit my forehand and still even if I tell you the truth the backhand the double fisted backhand is far more better than the forehand and I'm not the one who is saying it the people with whom I play are always saying that it's really a surprise that people usually struggle when it comes to their backhand. You're a person who struggles in this forehand and the backhand is the best one <laughs> according to them. So thank you to them of course for appreciating the double fisted backhand but I keep on working on it, I keep on growing it. That doesn't mean that if you hit a good shot so you are perfect. You keep on practicing to make it better and in a similar way I keep on working on the forehand also. But the point is again see what suits you best see what's comfortable for you uh, when it comes to the double fisted backhand yes it you know is more uh, comfortable because you are generating energy through both hands one is uh, playing the part of the main hand whereas the other is being the supportive hand and basically by combining the power of these two hands you are able to generate power and also controlling the ball so it's quite better than you know hitting the ball with a single fisted backhand and on the other side if I talk about the single fisted backhand so <clears throat> if you want to see a comparison you can just analyze the game or the matches between Nadal and Roger so the, the place where Roger used to suffer was the top spin cross court forehand that Nadal would hit at the backhand side of the Federer this was the place in which the ball would simply you know come and jump at such a height that Federer used to go back to receive the ball so that the ball may come down and then he's able to hit his single fisted backhand it wasn't possible at that time uh, you know a few years back when they used to fight somewhere between 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10 this was the time in which he used to go back to return the ball and that would give Nadal all the time to you know simply hit at the open side of the court and that's why he was able to hit down the line at the forehand side and Roger used to just run towards the ball but he was unable to catch the ball because of all the fast pace and all the top spin that was there on the ball so this is the place where Roger used to suffer although he did a lot of practice to counter and he came up with a strategy in which you know he started uh, hitting the ball with a single fisted backhand by taking the ball at a height so you know he used to bring the racket at a height to hit and return the ball and you know that took all the time from Nadal that he used to have earlier to simply find the gap and to simply place this ball at such a distance that Roger couldn't reach there but the moment he started hitting Federer started to return the ball fast and at a height so the game over game was all over and you know Federer started winning consecutive matches you saw it uh, starting from 2017 Australian Open then Indian Wells in Miami why was it all happening in which <clears throat> Nadal faced him in so many finals it was because of the fact that basically Federer came up with a solution that is not an easy solution 
you can try it also and you will see how difficult it is to you know simply take the ball at a height from a single fisted backhand compared to that if you are simply playing with a double fisted backhand it's far more comfortable not forcing you towards double fisted backhand if you are com uh, comfortable to play like Wawrinka, Felder, Tsitsipas and many other single fisted uh, you know backhand player just like um, there was another one Dominic Thiem so they are quite good players uh, another one uh, Grigor Dimitrov yeah so you know people call him baby Felder the way he moves and his backhand and forehand everything is quite similar with Roger but yeah there are some differences point here is see what suits you best that is my point do try both and the one that suits you best continue with it and you'll grow as a player all the best to you